Hello, uh, this is Soren Jaffe. Um, today I will be going over another one of my students' games that we played, or that we finished yesterday. Um, we started this game a few days ago, but we didn't have enough time to finish, so we finished it yesterday, so this is kind of like a two-part game. I'll be going over the entire game in today's video, though. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So I'm white, my student is black. Uh, I very rarely do this opening, but I'm trying to expose my student to new openings, so that's why I did it. Boom to boom. Um, just for the sake of not having a symmetrical shape, I think black should maybe even just extend large knights, um, or come from this direction. But there's nothing wrong with this. Um, just my personal preference. I try not to have two of the same shamari um, on the same side of the board. So white shoulder hits. This is just an asking move. Um, you'll see that really black has, I guess, four, four options. Black can push up. Black can crawl. Um, those are the two common ones. But black can also just dive and pincer. These last two are less common. Um, the pincer is if black wants to fight white in this area. Um, so if white descends, like if black is okay with this sort of fight, then black should do this. In this case, I think the move he played in the game was the best move, which is just coming up. And then white place approach. So black ignored this, which I think this move's good. I think black could consider just answering, kicking, and then pincering, because this upper left area is the area black's trying to build, or at least it seems that way. So by kicking and then pincering, black is going to make white heavy. So black approaches. Now white does answer this, but white could have ignored. White answers, and then black kicks, and then pincers here. Um, so back, you know, pre-AI, um, pre-AI, there were these four spaces black could consider playing. But now, rarely the only pincer I see is right here. Um, I don't know if it's just trendy or just because the AI's played it, but you rarely see these tight, tighter pincers. Um, while my reasoning behind playing this is because if white gets stones, you know, around here, black is able to make a very comfortable base. Um, this, this, these black stones are very solid. Whereas, when you pincer tighter, and white pincers somehow, you can see black really can't make a base. Um, so even though it does allow white to make a base, in this case black really does not mind white making a base. Um, yeah. So I think this would have been better. But black plays a tighter pincer. white jumps, and here black really needs, black really needs to keep the pressure on these stones, so if he just defends this stone, I think that'd be much better for black, so this has to be the key point. Um, if white jumps out here, then maybe black can attack the top. Now that white has invested another stone here, going after these stones is valuable. Um, so black really needed to add the stone. This move, it's kind of hard to see what this move is doing, because even if white just responds, black needs to still add a move to protect his base. Because if black ignores now, uh, white pincering is very severe. 
because these stones are not light. So uh, if black wanted to play there, I would rather black just extend on the bottom. Now if white ignores, I don't think black would jump. Black would could consider counter pincering. So I th so this jump is not good. Um, it's hard to see what this is doing when the bottom is still open and white when white jumps here you can see white's just reducing so black plays here which fixes his shape in the corner but helps white fix so the proper move is to play here um, the point of this jump is to get white out but also white's looking at this attachment and peep black would like to connect but when white cuts, you can see that this stone white played is a ladder breaker. Um, so while black might kill the corner, white's going to get thickness. So this is why this move is important. Oh, not that move. That move is important for white, but for black, this move is important. Because when white does this now, you can see that this move black played is a ladder breaker. So that's the point of it. So it solidifies the corner plus puts pressure on the white stones. So this has the same idea. It protects the uh, corner, but it helps white. So then black plays here, which this move surprises me. Um, this move is used, it's very territorial. Black needs to add the stone here. If white just drops down, then black can pincer somehow. Now, if white wants to take the area, this is the proper move, but you can see black gets his slide anyways. Especially after making white stronger here, this stone could get under more severe attack, so black needs to add a stone here. This has to be the proper area. If white defends, Maybe black defends his bottom, and this is still a game. This move's very greedy. It puts it doesn't put pressure on white. White's top was not solidifying anyway, so black needed to play there. So then on the next move, white split. When black jumps, and then white caps. Um I think black just jumps. I think just jumping's better. Um, because this cap, this, it's not even a cap, but this surrounding move white plays is very annoying for black. You can see that because white has a stone here and a stone here, white stones are in a line. So it's very hard for black to break this. Black's move in the game is good, threatening to uh, push through both shapes, pushing, threatening to push through this shape and the large knights. White plays an asking move. If black wants to just continue to come out, white will happily take the corner. But if black does what he does in the game, white plays this um, diagonal. So now if black jumps, white can cut this. So in the game, black protected, which is threatening to cut off white, Atari, and then connect. Um, so this move is very bad, this peep. This is a peep just to peep. Because, one, if black can do this, that makes the corner humongous. Humongous. So you only peep if the peep directly helps you make eyes. But because this is still wide open, this move is not a good exchange. Black should just do what he does in the game and attaches. Um, so this was a very bad exchange for black. And attach. White Hanes once. Um, black won't do this now, but this is a big move because it threatens for it threatens to connect for black. Um, like if white does something else, black can actually connect. So that's the point. 
So even though White's not planning on um, saving the stone, it prevents Black from connecting or dropping down in almost sente. So White Hanes and Black turns, leaving the Satari. Black should just connect. Because if, if we do what, ha if, let's see, Atari, or Hane, Atari, and let's say Black connects, if we do a Tawari analysis, that's when you change the order of moves to see if certain moves still make sense. It's as if black goes here and white goes here, black would go here. Does that make sense? I don't think so. So black should just connect. Um, yeah. So now the white can't even go here now because black can cut. Right? So white would need to just connect and then black can jump out. And it would still be a running fight between these black stones and these white stones. But black Hanes, white Ataris, and then black doesn't fill. It, but white has this cut here, so white needs to protect, and then black will just connect. And it's still not terrible for black. Um, white can push through or peep. White can push through here and capture this stone or peep here, but it's. If black just, you know, gives up a little bit. You can see it's not that bad for black. But black blocks. So white says, okay, I'll take the stone. Um, and then black connects. Now, if white just connects, black will connect, and it, we'll have another running fight. Um, and it still seems pretty even. But... Black, white makes a co. So black takes the co. Um, so I was, I was thinking about this for a while because when black wins the co, if black wins the co, white's upper left is very weak. So I wanted to find a. So one, I was deciding whether can I give up the corner, which you should always consider if I can get profit somewhere else, can I ignore my opponent? So that's why in the game, my co threat was to peep. Uh, black connects, white connects. Black has w a couple local threats. One, black can consider Atariing here. If white ignores, black will just connect his stones, which is pretty... That's pretty big, actually. Um, because white, even though these stones are cut off, they're still cutting off these white stones. So these stones still have a lot of Vaji. So white would probably answer. Um, now the question is, where's white's threat? If white does a threat like this, that'll force black to take points. Um, and black still has local threats. So black sh should have fought this co. Black has a lot of local threats. And again, if black were to win this co, like let's say, um, it's white answers, black takes, white needs to find a co-threat, maybe white, oh, I don't even know, jumps across maybe. If black just takes the co, um, this, this feels decent for black. There's still Aji in this corner. Um, white's under attack. Yeah, so this feels decent for Black. So I think Black should have tried to play the Coke, especially because he had local threats. In the game, Black just connected. So White cut through. So now Black sees, okay, I'm out, and I want to attack this group. So then Black goes here, which I think is a good move. Now, this was when day one of this teaching game ended. Um, which was three days ago, I believe. So then when we met yesterday, we f we started up from here. So it was White's turn. So White goes here, and Black descends. Now Black is worried about Aji in the corner. But let's say Black goes elsewhere. I don't even know. 
white invades, black will descend anyways. And even though white can live, white lives small in the corner, and this white group's actually floating. This white group is not alive. Um, so, yeah, black definitely needed to do this. And I don't even think white... White's... Okay, white is alive because white can exchange this, but you can see that that exchange even weakens the outside even more. So black, way too scared. You played this move to protect against the corner, or to protect your corner. And I don't mean the points in the corner, I mean your group in the corner. So black should have not been so scared and played a second line move right here because white kicks here. And this kick helps white's center group because when black pushes through, his shape is a lot worse, which kind of comes up in the game. But even then, I, I see white building this bottom. If black wanted to protect against the corner, black should play here. This has to be a huge move. Yeah. So this was, the only purpose of this move was to protect the, the corner, the points in the corner. But this move not only protects the points in the corner, but reduces white and weakens the group, the white group here. So this was slow, white kicks, black pushes, and realizes his shape is awful. Uh, a cut, even if white just goes here, black cannot just block because of a snapback. And that's the point of this move. So black would need to connect. Um, and even if white just backs off, you can see there's a push and cut potential here. So in the game, black just goes here, and then white still just hanes, takes the cash. Compare this result to black just going there. Yeah, it's a big difference. And then cut, and then block, and then black um, protects the corner. So not only does this move, this move is not as good as this dive, but it actually makes his corner smaller and white's bigger. So this move is a very bad move. So then white Atari's, and black pulls this out. So I think pulling it out once is good, but you'll see, I'll play a couple moves, and you'll see how heavy this group got. So, not a, white solidifying the bottom, uh, taking care of his group on the top. Um, yeah, so I think pulling it out once is good. But at this point, Black needs to turn his attention elsewhere. Um, on the right side somewhere. Maybe attaching here. Um, maybe attaching here. Ask how White responds. If White hanes, Black can potentially play this attachment. You can see that Black will be able to connect. White goes here. Um, Tari. Yeah, Black can do this, but it may be not the best result. So then maybe just uh, going there. Something. This is just too direct. Black's moving the game. Because Black, for now, has this corner. White can pull this out, but it's probably not a good idea. Like, even if black just goes there and makes white swallow. Um, you can see now, now black has built his left. And really, white's only points are on the bottom. So, I think this would have been better. If white ignores this, now when black pulls this out, black can get a strong attack. So, this was very heavy. White jumps out. 
And then black plays this diagonal, which doesn't make sense to me. Why you have to Atari this? And then maybe attach. This attach for now protects the cut. Um, if white goes here, black will um, extend, and you can see now the cut is protected. If white goes here, um, it's very similar. So, yeah, black should have has to at Atari and then attach. So maybe white should have played here. This move must be better. Yeah, this was a white mistake. Comes out. Let's white. Um, crawl or extend so now <coughs> you can see now the entire bottom is white so now black jumps again leaves an obvious weakness black needs to play this diagonal if white diagonals then maybe black can do something like that if white plays aggressively then you can see black can now surround white um, or should cut first because it threatens to um, cut white off and then do that, I think. So, yeah. Definitely. Because this stone has no relationship. Well, it has a relationship, but it has an obvious weakness. And white will, of course, peep and then peep. And you can see these moves, white can now start to think about pulling the stones out. Which is why, if I remember correctly, um, is that where black went? No. Oh, black went here. Oops. Um, so this move isn't terrible. It's only terrible because black does not have an alive group on the top. So white just plays here. So black really needs to help this group. So black should just come this way. And let's assume white's alive, or black's alive. So now that black is settled, then that's when black can play this. So way too early. So now white pokes, and then black covers. And covers, it's like black made his group as small as possible. Why doesn't black want to be more like, black has to realize he has a weak group here, white solidifying the bottom, white has potential on the right and the top. I need to play as fast as possible. Try to get as much as possible. Something like this. Um, maybe even attach. This is just, it's Gote. It makes his group as small as possible. Like, black really needs to do something with this group as well, so way too, again, not efficient. So of course white pokes at the shape, and black crawls, again, he has weak groups, so I, I don't really understand this crawl, um, because maybe black can peep directly and then do this. Um, and I've always told him, I've always told my students, this was a peep. So don't play from peeping stones or probing stones. And he and in this case, look, you can see he played from a probes, probing stone. So, yeah. So white just plays there. And then black attaches. So detachment's good. Um, black. So this result in the game, you can see white's completely connected. And black really has a clump of three stones with four liberties. So if you're going to attach, you need to cut off white. And the sequence I would expect, uh, let's see, come here, Atari, and then extend. So white will most likely go here, and then black will turn. Um, yeah, this is much better for black. You can see white has 
Aji in the corner now, or black, and black's more solid. Of course, this looks good, but when black has this weak group, it's the top. Even though the top is pretty big, it's not enough to combat um, white's potential from attacking this group. Uh, but this is good that he realizes right now I can't really pull this out, so I need to do something else. Uh, yeah, look at this. This stick of stones is this is like black's liability. Like white will happily just attack this and let black get zero points. So it's pretty difficult. Jump, attach, push through. Then black goes here. The attachment's good. Black is trying to do way too much. Black needs to just start to settle his group. But he's trying to do way too much. Um, yeah, I'm not sure these exchanges help black, but it does become what I just showed. So then, white plays an asking move. Um, again, try asking black. Can I pull these stones out, or at least the tail? So black answers. Yeah, black. Even though I'm not sure how this will go, black needs to th think aggressively. Right? When you're behind, you can't just answer your opponent's moves. So black needs to think aggressively here. White peeps. Yeah. And then white crawls. And the, this crawl is pretty big. Uh, yeah. So black wedges tries to wedge is a good Tetsuji tactic. So always look at the wedge between the ones space jump. And in this case, I'm not sure it's too helpful. Just makes his shape bad and weakens these stones. And this attachment's very good. Um, and I spent a long time on this move actually. Uh, by first, of course, playing here, but. I ended up going here. There's a lot of Aji here, actually, because there's this there's this peep black can look at. Um, and white's not alive. And you can see even if, oops, yeah, that. Even if black just connects, you can see that that peep still exists. So. I did play this because it's the strongest answer, uh, but you'll see that this move, black cuts, oops, black cuts. So this move, I was like, oh, what's this exchange? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. But this move's actually very good, and you'll see why in a second. Black, I don't understand that. I, I cannot understand this move. I'll be honest. I don't know what this move is doing. Black has a weak group here that he needs to settle somehow. Maybe coming down, maybe going there, maybe even playing here. But Black, because right now, Black has one eye here. Um, white cannot save this stone, as you can see. So black has one eye, so all it needs is another eye on the side, and he's alive. But by wedging and allowing white go here, you can see now if black plays elsewhere, white can cut this and take away black's eyes. So I'm not this move. I I don't understand this move. And then black goes he here, which is a very good move, which is what this cut was setting up, and I did not see this at all. This was a complete surprise to me. And this is what I love about playing my student, is I've, I've gotten him to think like out of the box and creative, and he's teaching me things, which is, you know, it makes it, you know, it's not just me teaching him, he's also teaching me sometimes. Um, so black, if I, if I just block, black and Atari here, um, yeah, and cut these stones off.
And if, if I just do something simple like this, black will get to cut this off. So, very, very good move. Um, very good move. Now, it is a good move, but there is a little asterisk because, because black isn't alive here, white can play here. Um, and if black connects, white will be able to just block here, and you can see that this no longer works as well. Although it's still... Actually, this does still work. Uh, yeah, this still this still works. Okay, so this move is better than I thought. Actually, yeah, black should. Oh yeah, yeah, it does work. Uh, but white will go. I, white will go here. Yeah, white will go this one. Yeah, so it does. It doesn't work. My bad. Yeah, I I read this in the game. Don't worry. Yeah, so now when black connects and white takes, white's connected, so, yeah. So because black's not alive here, it does work, and he does cut off this, these stones, but this, black takes five stones, white takes the entire right side, from the tenth line almost, so, like this whole quadrant is white's, um, which is a lot of points. So then white comes back and uh, kills kills these off. And at this point, black is pretty far behind. Um, and again, another instance of black, when he's behind, not fighting. Like, white can do this. But white doesn't have two eyes yet. Um, yeah. So black, again, yeah, not doing what he needs to do to get back into the game, but just answering, um, just answering white. When you're behind, you have to, you can't just answer white. Uh, yeah, so, overall, I think he, the opening was pretty, pretty good. It, it's, once again, once the fighting started, that's when black... When he, Black had to make decisions on what's the biggest move, etc., etc., that's when Black um, fell behind. Uh, so I'll just quickly scroll through the game so you can look at it. Um, Black is far behind, but you'll see that Black's points gets even uh, more reduced because you see this liberty issue here. White throws in, throws in, and connects. And you can see black cannot save these stones now. White Ataris. Black does this. Which I don't understand this move because it just forces white to Atari here. Which it's as if when if white goes here, black would go here. Which doesn't make any sense. Um Yeah, then white connects. And then black plays here instead of just connecting. I think he's worried about this spot, but white does not have enough space to make two eyes. So, and you'll see this move is actually a big blunder because this cut starts to work. Because white goes here, and then black goes there. Black needs to go here. I should do that f first, maybe. But by black going here, white goes here, threads to cut through. I think black can block. Black should block. If white just, if black just extends, white will cut. And it looks like it'll be Seki, but it'll actually be a two-step co. Which this was black's area anyway, so white would be happy play this co. So black needs to play there, but you'll see that when white Atari is here and black connects, black will need to add stones in his own territory, which makes the corner bigger. 
but black goes. But it's better than this move, I think, because now it's the same thing, but black has to take all of the white stones off now. And then white comes back and takes the stone, and black resigned here. Um, yeah, lots of crazy fighting with deep reading. This game took a lot of reading on both of our parts. Um, lots of trades, too. Um, and I think white's, or my, um, ability to assess trades is much better than my students, which is something we are working on. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that was the game. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section. Um, I do want to ask a question. Because all of my students are either strong SDK or low Don, um, a lot of my material so far has been um, kind of around their level. So if there's any um, maybe double digit cues or beginners that are watching, I want to know what do you want to see? What's something that you want me to talk about or review? Or yeah, just something you want me to teach almost. Um, so please t let me know. Um, also, if you're interested in being my student, um, you can email me at ohiogoschool at gmail.com. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.